the Great Search brought to you by IDGK Native Bird. Thanks, IDGK. This is the time of the week where Lady Azur uses her power of engineering to help you find the things you want to find on digikey.com. What are you looking for this week, Lady Ada? Okay, so this week, um, chip shortage is not quite ending. It's relaxing a little bit, but there's still a lot of parts that didn't make it to the other side. And one of those uh, is the Fan 5331. Now, you might be saying, Lady Ada, you covered the fi Fan 5331 a couple of months ago. I remember that you found an alternative for it. No, no, no. My friend, that was the Fan 5333, which is the constant current version of this boost converter. I'm now going to be looking at the uh, constant voltage output version of this boost converter. The boost converter before was what I used for LED backlights on 4, 7, 10 inch TFT displays. It's one, you know, big LED chains um, where you want to have a constant current of 20 milliamps through multiple chains of LEDs. The Fan 5331 is what I use. Um, oftentimes for e-ink and OLED and TFT displays where I need a bias voltage, um, especially for OLEDs, this is very common. You need to give it a nine, 12, 16 volt bias uh, to activate the OLED, even though it's not like the main power source. You do need, you know, 50 milliamps or so, maybe 20 to 50 milliamps um, available for all sorts of devices. Um, as I just mentioned, sometimes audio circuitry also you'll need uh, plus 12 volts. Even if you're not using a full 12 volts for your audio signal, the rails need to be higher because you need a headroom for your audio amplifiers and they, they go up to maybe six volts. So um, again, you know, for, for biasing, this isn't a power, well, it's not what I would call a power boost converter. Um, although if you only need 100 milliamps, then it'll do the job as well. So let's go to the computer and let's look at this chip. So the Fan 5331, uh, I really, really love this boost converter. Um, 1.6 megahertz uh, frequency, adjustable up to 20 volts, and it has a built-in one amp peak current switch, and it comes in a SOT 23.5. This thing is like, it was like bread and butter. Like I could toss into any circuit. It was, you know, about a buck or less, and it was just, it did the job beautifully, perfectly, and they never blew up. Uh, they were super stable. Um, low shutdown current, low RDS on, lovely, lovely chip. So you're like, wow, why don't you just buy more from DigiKey? That's a great question. If you were to find this part on DigiKey, you would see it is last time buy. Last time buy means uh, they will do one more run, and then uh, you know if you need a couple years worth, please put in the couple years worth that you need to complete your manufacturing until you can change over to another part. Um, I will do a last time buy because I, you know, I, I like to have some backup for, uh, you yeah, know, sometimes you find an alternative and the alternative isn't quite perfect. You might as well put in that last time buy order. However, I've also learned sometimes last time buy means no, that's it. We actually are never going to send it to you. Um, I'm looking at you, STMP. 811, whose last time buy lasted two years, and then I never actually got the part, and then they told me they will never send it to me. So it does happen. Not saying it's going to happen here, but I've learned when I see last time buy, I find an alternative <laughs> immediately. So there are a couple alternatives suggested, but actually, um, I wanted to, you know, some of these might be okay, but let's, let's use our uh, patented searchability to find something similar-ness. Uh, so we want a um, DC-DC regulator with internal switches and one output. I'm not as picky about the internal, uh, you know, the, the min and max uh, input voltages because, again, it can be wider, it can be a little narrower. Basically, as long as it's 3 to 5 volts. Um, I'll try to find something with about 20 volts, 1 amp switch, and hopefully... High frequency. I do want it in SOT 23.5. I want it ideally to be pin compatible so and functionally compatible so I don't have to um, redesign. Okay. So, and then, you know, we're going to look at pricing at 1,000 pieces. Um, so this is fun. This is, this is the, you know, this image is not uh, correct. This is a SOT 23.5, but it's good to know. And there's a couple obsolete parts. Here's that fan 5331. So this is, you know, last time buy. And then a couple others in that family. You can see the fan 5333 
is also last time by. So let's um, let's have a look at active, and that'll that'll cut it down like half. So there are only thirty options now. I also want to look for normally stocking only because some of these are you're not apple you're not available. Um, I don't mind if it's marketplace. That's okay. Uh, one thing I'll note is a few of these are step down. They're not boost converters. Um, like this one, this is a regulator, and this is a regulator, and they're um, step down converters, not uh, step up converters. So we do want to um, note that you know you you want to make sure you pick both sepic style and step up. Uh, sepic is a single ended something something converter. And basically, you know, it's usually a buck boost. Sometimes you can configure, you know, by adding more trans, yeah, more um, shocky diodes and more inductors, you can kind of reconfigure it so it's okay if the voltage goes a little bit under or above. Um, that's okay. We'll just uh, select both. Uh, the voltage supply max is fine. The voltage supply min, all these are fine. They all cover three to five volts. That's fine. And the voltage outputs are for these are also fine because I just want at least 20 volts. Um, the current output per channel, um, again, this is confusing because there's output and switch. Usually they're specced by the switch, I will say. Um, so that said, if you look at um, the switch current, you're not going to get, you know, there is one that's 2.8 amps, and it's like, wow, that's cool. Um, but it's out of stock. It's the LM3410. Uh, Currently not in stock, um, so that's a little sad. Maybe I'll actually say I only want to look at in stock ones as well. Okay, so back here. So the current output channel. So, you know, basically there's five, 550 milliamps. That's kind of the max. So if, that's, if that current output is important to me, um, the LM2704F. It's a little bit more expensive. It's $1.25 on tape and reel. Um, but, you know, it does, it, it's, it does do the job. It's adjustable up to 20 volts. Uh, you know, built-in switch is half as much, 550 milliamps. Uh, great for LCD bias supplies. What, is, what a coincidence. And then, you know, this is basically your, your classic circuit, which is the same circuit you'd use for the fan. 5331, and um, I did check the pinout. The pinout is identical. Uh, I, can, uh, I can quickly uh, look it up to verify for you. So it's switch, ground, feedback, shutdown, V in. And this is switch, ground, feedback, shutdown, V in. So one, two, three, four, five, it's in the same order. Um, in the same circuit, although the feedback resistors may have to be adjusted, but that's not a big deal. Um, but otherwise, this looks you know very similar. You have to give it the shocky diode and the inductor, and does the rest. So this one's good. Um, however, you know for a lot of the bias circuits, I don't need necessarily uh, 550 milliamps. I'm I'm glad it's available. And then of course, if I'm willing to spend even more, there is a version that has a built-in. Um, 2.8 amp switch, so that's good to know. And it's actually kind of nice, it's also 1.6 megahertz. Again, it's more expensive. The original Fan 5331 was about 75 cents. This is $1.50, but there is something available, the LM3410, so that's good to know. Um, but for my purposes, I'm actually kind of okay with using, you know, 350 milliamp switch. So Again, I only need like 10, maybe 20 milliamps at 12, 9 to 12 volts. It's not a huge, again, it's not a power converter. It's a bias generator. So I'm actually okay with this one, the LM2703, uh, right? Because, again, this comes in a family, the 2304, 2704, and then the 2705. All, you know, they, you, you pay more for the bigger switches. Um, but this one does the job. And, hey, it's in stock. Hard to beat. Um but this will do the job quite well. Again, 2.2 to 7 volts in, up to 21 volts output. Simple boost converter, uh, and it'll do the job. And then um, pin compatible, so I can just drop it in. And for almost all of my OLED biasing needs, uh, this chip will work quite well. And that's a great search.